हेलो फ्रेंड्स बिकम एग्री बिजनेस एंड क्वालिटी एक्सपर्ट इन हंड्रेड डेज फ्रेंड्स टूडे इज माय थर्टी सेकेंड एपिसोड टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस द टॉपिक फैक्टर्स एफेक्टिंग कोल्ड स्टोर क्वालिटी ऑफ फ्रेश प्रोड्यूस बिकॉज वेन यू कीप fresh produce in the cold storage what are the factors which influence the quality and we should take care about this factor to maintain the quality so that is today's topic in the last topic on 31st episode i took the topic how improper storage affect the quality of fresh produce and during that episode i promise you ki i will bring few more videos on cold storage so today i brought one more video which is very important factors affecting cold store quality of fresh produce friends my name is arun mehta and you are watching my video channel arun mehta quality talk so friends we are going to discuss today what are the factors which increase the quality so we will name one by one factor then we will elaborate that factor the first factor is product quality which you are keeping in the cold store the second important factor comes temperature the temperature in which you are storing the produce is very important factor and the third important factor is pre cooling of the produce and the fourth factor is rh means the relative humidity in the cold store where you are keeping the produce then the fifth chapter is air circulation air circulation is fifth packet topic and next is respiration rate respiration rate also influence the quality of produce and other than this weight loss in the storage and sanitation and purification also impact the quality so we'll discuss each factor one by one first to start with the product quality the product which you are keeping in the cold store should be free from any skin breaks bruise marks decay or any type of deterioration because if you will store any produce which is broken or having a cut marks or skin break that is going to be deteriorated in the storage so please don't do that then the second important things in product quality is product should neither be immature or over mature especially in case of <coughs> fruits all most of the fruit should be mature because if they are not mature then their storage life is not proper it's not good they will not ripe properly they will not behave properly in the storage and most of the vegetable should be mature because nobody likes mature vegetables so vegetable should be mature and tender so product should neither be immature or over mature in case of vegetables they can be immature or tender but in case of fruits they should always be mature because immature fruits cannot stay longer in the cold store maximum storage life can be obtained only by storage of high quality commodities shortly after harvest if you want to achieve maximum storage life you have to reduce the time gap you have to keep the produce immediately after harvesting the gap from the harvesting to storage if it is less it can enhance the product quality if it is longer then product product quality cannot be maintained for longer period the storage properties may also influence by the variety of the product climatic conditions soil cultural practices maturity and handling practices before storage sometimes 
you store one commodity in one cold store and same commodity in another cold store. So their storage life is not same. So it's very important that there are many pre-harvest level effects are there in the product, like which variety you are storing, what were the cultural practices happened during the cultivation of the produce, and what was the soil in which produce is grown, what are the other climatic conditions were there, and what was the ex exact maturity when you kept the produce. All these factors are influencing the product quality. So product quality have a lot of influence factor will determine the product quality in storage for all the committees, for all the products, storage life may not be same. It impacted a lot of other factors which I just explained. The second major factor which influenced the product quality is temperature. As earlier also I told many times, it produced required low temperature and high humidity. But in temperature also, it is very important that maintaining even storage temperature regime throughout the entire length of the storage period is very important. It's not like that ki you have just set the temperature and you are just taking the reading from outside, yes, 2 degrees maintained. But 2 degree temperature for any particular community like potato if you are storing is important that it should be throughout the storage in, in entire corners, entire storage, it should be remain constant. It should not be like that ki on one corner of the cold store temperature is high, on another corner it is different, in center it is different. In all corners in entire cold store regime, the temperature should be same. If temperature is not same, then quality may deteriorate. Increase of temperature above the optimum should be avoided as any increase in temperature will increase the rate of respiration causing the natural breakdown of food reserves and water content start decreasing. It is very important that temperature should maintain optimum. Whatever temperature is desired for that product which you are keeping, it should be optimum, should not be increased during storage. Because when temperature increases, the rate of respiration also decreases. Because the temperature is low, respiration rate will be low. When temperature is high, respiration should be high. So when temperature will increase, the respiration rate will increase and with the result its breakdown will happen and uh, water will also start decreasing from the product. In high temperature, water evaporation rate will be high. So it will impact the product quality. Here we should not forget the importance of cooling down the produce which is entering the cold store. Because the warm crop not only contains heat but also produce heat. Many times I have observed in my job that uh, hot produce is coming from outside during summer and immediately within 10 minutes, half an hour the produce is put inside the cold store. It's not good. Produce should be kept at lower temperature for some time unless that produce is cooled down. Because if produce bought from outside is having a 30 degree temperature and you will put inside the cold store. If inside is 2 degree, so certainly it will impact the quality, the temperature of that cold room will increase because you are putting 30 degree warm produce inside the cold store. So hot produce, hot crop, warm crop not only produce heat but also generate heat also. So it helps in deteriorating the product quality. 
So we discussed two factors, product quality, which is very important, and second is temperature. Now the third factor which influences the cold store quality is pre-cooling. Pre-cooling to enhance the shelf life of the produce, it is very important that we should rapidly remove the field heat from the produce immediately after harvest. As you know that when we harvest any product from the plant, it respires very fast. So there is a lot of heat in that. If we do the pre-cooling of that product, the respiration will slow down and heat will be lower. So pre-cooling always enhances the quality of the produce. So we should not forget to do the pre-cooling some of the sensitive items like strawberry, grapes, blueberry, all these exotic items, figs, require pre-cooling. For other crop also, if they are entering and coming at high temperature, they should also keep outside cold store for some time to cool down the temperature. So, we discussed product quality, we discuss temperature, then we discuss pre-cooling. Now the other very important factor which determines the storage quality of fresh produce is relative humidity, RH. Moisture in the atmosphere is called humidity and the moisture in relation to the temperature in the atmosphere is called relative humidity. So, the relative humidity is basically the air in the storage room, which directly affects the keeping quality of the produce. If humidity is too low, produce will start wilting, produce will start shivering. If humidity is too high, then it will favor the development of decay. So, there should be optimum humidity is very important. Most of the produce required 90% relative humidity for the storage. So we should maintain the humidity. Humidity should never be low or should not be high because low humidity deteriorate the quality and high humidity can invite the infection to the produce. So next factor which influences the quality during storage is air circulation. The air circulation and packaging space, the greater need for rapid air circulation is during removal of field heat. The nature of the container and the manner of stacking is also very important. So if air circulation is not there, temperature will not be distributed in the cold store properly. So air circulation is very, very important. There should not be any hot pockets inside the cold store, inside the community where you are storing, which will deteriorate the quality. So air circulation should be maintained. Other than that, packaging space, spacing inside the cold store is very important. A two to three inch space between rows of the containers is very important. Rows should be laid in such a way that the direction of the air movement is along the rows rather than across, across the rows. Also, four to eight inch spacing at the side walls is desirable that cold air can be delivered to the all the levels. The spacing is required at the bottom also. Produce should be kept on, on site on, upon the pallets. So, two, three inch height from the floor and also produce or pellet should not touch the floor on top also a lot of space is required so unless proper spacing is there no air circulation is possible so proper air circulation will be possible when row to row line to line wall to wall floor and roof spacing will be maintained another important factor which deteriorate the quality which affecting the quality during storage is the respiration rate. 
as we know that all committees are alive and even after harvest they carry all the process which require for the living things and the most important process of this is respiration what happened in the respiration in the respiration in this process plant takes oxygen and gives co2 carbon dioxide and during this process energy is released in the form of heat and the amount of heat varies from committee to committee and increase as the temperature increases so the respiration heat can also impact the quality of the produce during storage other than that weight loss is also impacting the quality and weight loss happened when water will be evaporated from the produce so produce will lose the weight some changes will take place shriveling wrinkling softness will take place so that weight loss also impact the quality and sanitation and purification is also very important if the cold store is not sanitized properly before storing the produce and air purification is not done then the air born what uh, pathogens also can impact the produce quality produce may get infected during storage so all these factors we should take care if we want proper cold storage of fresh produce so i will once again revise the factors we discuss about the product quality which is very important we discuss about the temperature maintenance in the cold store we discuss the impact of pre cooling during storage and we discuss in the role of relative humidity in the storage quality then the respiration rate then weight loss in storage and sanitation and air purification all these factors we discuss so i hope you learned something new today so don't undermine the storage storage is not a easy job storage is not just take the produce and put inside if you want the penny for the storage if you want that your product quality is maintained in the storage its shelf life should be more in the storage so each and every factor which i explained just now product quality temperature pre cooling relative humidity air circulation respiration rate weight loss sanitation purification we should strictly follow and maintain so friends i hope you learned something new today if you like my video don't forget to press the like button if you are not subscribe my channel so far please do it now tomorrow i will bring one more video for you till then be healthy keep smiling and keep watching my videos in my youtube channel arun mehta par thanks for watching jai hind